Hey guys, just a quick video about how I fixed the problematic bonnet cable on Phil Cordy. I've made this video because I couldn't really find any tutorial videos online when I needed to fix it. I could have spent a few hundred on an original single strand cable, but they end up breaking after time and time of use they break and it was going to work out to be problematic in the long run. So I also could have purchased like an aftermarket generic bonnet cable thing but then you know grafting it to the original handle and all that work nah not gonna do that so for the price of like a red, a red bull four pack um, I purchased a bicycle gear cable and 1.2 millimeter cable crimps off eBay and that's how I've done it so I was expecting the job to be one of those quick afternoon yeah or quick before work jobs should take an hour no worries mate but um, when I had to put the dash back in and I really wanted to do it properly and make sure it was all working and I found some broken things along the way so it did take a lot longer than expected but it was so worth it because now it just opens like a champ. So this is the Cortina bonnet and we, after we have one snap we replaced the cable with like a stainless braided cable and it nearly quite pulls it back in there but it doesn't quite go all the way. And we've got our three clamps that hold the conduit like there, there, and that. So the only thing we've thought of is that it's got this much movement before taking up the slack. And these are the crimps that I got off eBay. I got it for like three bucks and they're 1.2 millimeter crimps. So all you do, and the winning combo for me was to use two. I tried one at the start and it just didn't work. And if you're like me and you're cheap out on using the um, electrical crimps instead of having the right ones, try not to squeeze it too hard because it will damage the crimp and break it. So grab two like that. So yeah, there are my two there. And then you just grab the end of the cable and put it through. Put it through that one and that one at the same time. So then it's easy. And make a nice tidy loop. Like, even though we're doing it ourselves, it's got to be nice, so pull it to a nice size and then what I did was just grab these electrical crimpers and I squeezed it once in the electrical bit in that red size there, or if you've got proper crimpers you won't worry, but and then do the other one and then I worked out a system with a bit of practice that just to go in between there and there just to give it a bit of extra, but don't go all the way because that breaks it. So just give it a bit of a squeeze and then unlock them. Even that's probably too much because you can start to see the brass, but you get the gist and that's your really strong loop which you, uh, pulls on the release mechanism. And yeah, that plus the bike cable is like 10 bucks all together. So here's your cheap bike cable. And all I did was chop this end off here and slid the cable out. Then I've done the whole, the old loopy loop there. And now I'm just gonna chop that a bit shorter so we've got leeway and just thread it through like this. I'm going to do with this loop is undo this pin pulling system here. It's just got a little washer there. Pull that off, pull the pin out. See how that's come through, and then the hook will go over that pin, we'll smash it back in. So I've just gone to put this in, and I've realised that this little piece here. Um, it's broken off the top and that's probably why it has come out and left a lot of slack and broken in the end. So we're just going to get this 
clippy thing here and TIG weld it on there and have a little poke through hole so then it can't possibly break. Pushing shed size to the limit. Check out this gap I'm gonna get through. How handy is this? The um the bonnet cable pull thing has two cutouts where the old cable straighten thing was, so that's just where I'm gonna buy this thing. How thoughtful. Easy. Good off down there, I've just done a little stitch weld around that little bracket. Nice! Okay, that bit was a bit crappy because you have to put the conduit through a little from it and I can't seem to get enough light in there for the camera to pick it up but anyway, just persist with it and you'll get it through. So I'll just route this through. The um, cable comes through this little hole here and then that hole there is an is a access hole to an adjuster and then it pulls on this thing which if you can see under there, they you can't at all. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably cut this too short, but it'll have to do all over again. But anyway, this is where you grab your little crimp and you make a loop, and then we're nearly right to tighten it up and see how we go. So here we go. Just the electrical ones. Squeeze. Squeeze. And hopefully that'll be enough. Yes! <laughs> so there you have it. The bonnet's opening so good now, and um, I've never been so happy to pop the bonnet. Normally, it, um, I'd be unhappy for checking things, but uh, that's good. This is obviously a thousand ways to skin a cat and that was my way and you've probably got your own way so that's cool and i hope you either learned something or had a good laugh so if you like what you saw please give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more see you later see you next time